A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning to read at verse 13. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke, we also believe and we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of every good and giver of life. Come and dwell within us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and of thy goodness save our souls. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O oh God, our Father, you lead us on ways both new and unknown. Teach your church in our Diocese of St David's to live the good news given to us in Jesus Christ, Lord and Saviour. Make us to be light in your world and equip us to be partners in your mission so that others will find their way to you. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 